Thank you so much for joining this webinar, which to me is a very important webinar to really help us find a way to balance and grow in seven areas of our life. My name is Allie Phillips. I am the owner of Manifested Harmony. Um, I am also an attorney, a master teacher, energy healer, and I'm also with Young Living Essential Oils. I'm going to be talking about just one way, one technique, actually, I take that back, two techniques that you can use to balance and grow in seven areas of your life. Because, and I, and I love this graphic, every single day, you should wake up and commit yourself to becoming a better person. And that's all about balancing and growing. So the information I'm going to share in this webinar is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. I'm going to talk about my experiences and qualifications in using these two techniques that I'm going to talk about. And just remember that you are ultimately responsible for your own health and making decisions that are best for you. So let me tell you just a little bit about me and why I'm fascinated by this topic. And it's because I was very unbalanced. And even though I was growing in so many areas of my life, there were other areas that I was not. So I am a former prosecuting attorney. I have spent over 23 years in the criminal justice prosecution world. And I have spent a good chunk of that time being a traveling legal educator. And what I do is I travel across the country and now internationally, and I educate on my specialties in the legal field, which involve animal protection, animal abuse cases, and how animal abuse connects to crimes against people not fun topics. <laughs> so really hard to stay balanced when you're working in that area. And because I have done so much work in this field, I've done a lot of innovative work in this field. I've been recognized uh, for my work. I'm internationally recognized for it. Uh, in 2015, I was named a top defender of animals. And as a result of all of this, I've written a couple of books, which if you've ever written a book, um, it does take a big amount of dedication, which means you work all day and you come home and you write all night and you edit all weekend. And uh, that's just kind of how it goes. Um, I've also been a human and animal advocate in my volunteer time, spending a lot of times in animal shelters and in domestic violence shelters. I've been a lobbyist, and that is one of the most thankless jobs I've ever had, um, really caused a lot of stress. And then in the midst of all of this, I spent almost 12 years living just outside of Washington, D.C. in Alexandria, Virginia. And when all, you know, the stress and not being balanced really started to get to me, I started taking energy healing classes and eventually opened up Manifested Harmony in 2011. So of course that added more to being unbalanced. I was growing, but I was not balanced. And then I started with Young Living in February of 2013. But I have um, spent so much of the last, gosh, 23 years. And even before that, when I was in law school, I've spent so much time just working, 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 that it's so easy to get out of balance and not grow in all areas of your life. So that's where I'm coming from when I talk about these two techniques uh, that I'm going to share with you. Because I found my ULA, and I'm going to explain to you what ULA is, but I was able to get myself balanced and I was able to start growing in all seven areas of life that I'm going to go through. And I started taking adventures. I surrounded myself with a dear group of friends, both when I lived in Virginia and now living here in mid-Michigan. I found that balance. I, I've taken the time to 
basically heal myself and give myself that time away from work. Um, I'm doing fun things. I actually work that into my calendar now. It's pretty sad that I have to work it into my calendar, but hey, if it gets it done and I can go and have some fun, then you know that's how my calendar works. My field of career you know, is growing in multiple different ways. I'm multi-careered now. You know, my family, I moved back to Michigan specifically to be closer to my family. So that really helped get me balanced. Um, I took a massive leap of faith in doing that, in leaving everything in Virginia and coming back home. And, you know, fitness, that, that is a work in progress, but I'm working on that. And finance is starting to grow and get balanced from all of this change. So I've been able to find my ULA by growing and balancing all of these areas of life. And so what is this? What is ULA? So ULA is a concept that was created by two guys who used to be chiropractors. Um, and uh, they have created an entire brand around this to really help everyone find that state of awesomeness in their life. And how they talk about it is that when your life is balanced and you're growing in seven key areas of life, that's when you have the ULA life. Because if you're just focused on one or two things and five areas of your life are being neglected, you're not happy. And if you're trying to do too much in all seven areas and you're not balanced, you're not happy. So it's finding that balance and finding the growth in the seven areas. It's just finding that sweet spot. And that's called ULA. So that's what we're going to be talking about. And so I'm going to be going through these seven oils plus two additional oils. If you happen to have them, I would encourage you to go get them. And smell along as I'm talking about these oils. Um, these particular oils come from Young Living. They are inspired by the ULA concept and the ULA guys. And these are the seven areas of life. Fitness, family, faith, field, which is your work, finance, friends, and fun. So I'm going to be talking about these seven oils, which is one of the methods and I'm also going to be talking about a second method in how you use these oils. But in addition to these seven oils, there's two additional oils. And these oils actually predated that infused seven collection. And the oils are Ula Balance and Ula Grow. And what I love about these two oils is that you use them simultaneously with the seven other oils that we're going to talk about. So for example, if you need balance in your work life, you use the ULA field oil with ULA balance. If you need to grow your finances, you use the ULA finance with the ULA grow. So these oils can all be used together. And it's really great to use the balance and the grow oils with the other oils. So I hope you all had a chance to take the ULA Life quiz. It only takes a couple of minutes and it rates you in the seven areas of your life. I like to, every time I teach this class, I take the exam, not an exam, the assessment. <laughs> and it's very interesting. So the first time I took it was two years ago. It was April 6th of 2015. This was about one month after I had left Virginia, left full-time employment, left my life of 11 and a half years. I left friends and I moved back to Michigan to regain my life, to be closer to family. And I had to reestablish two businesses basically from scratch. And so when I looked at where I scored in these seven areas, you know, I was low on fitness and I was low on friends uh, because I had been gone for so long. I was very high in faith because I had taken a leap of faith. 
And now when I look, I took the, the test again today. Well, let me go back to the one, two years ago, my overall ULA score was 359, which was actually not too bad, but it was not that great. Today I took it and I'm at 465. And you can see on the screen how I have grown and balanced all areas. I'm still working on two. I'm still working on fitness and finance, and those are coming along nicely. But everything else, family, field, faith, friends, and fun have grown like crazy. They're almost all even because the goal is to have that pie chart to have all of those areas even. So it looks like a perfect round circle, like a pie. So definitely getting better on that. And I would very much encourage you to take it. So you received the link as part of this webinar. Uh, and if for some reason you didn't get it, just message me and I'll send it to you. And if you're listening to the recording, I'm going to put it in the description of uh, this webinar on the YouTube page so that you can take it. And I would encourage you to take it every six months, every 12 months and track your progress because it's really amazing to track your progress. So let's start with the first concept, the first area of life. Let's talk about faith. So faith is believing in something more than yourself, more than your surroundings, and more than what you can see. When your faith is shaken, this is when you're tested. So do you fight, flight, or freeze? Because those are the three reactions when we are shaken, when we have a trauma, when we have a scare. Will you sink or will you soar? We, we all know people that when their faith is shaken, when something bad happens, they pull it together and they soar. We probably also know people who just curl up, go into hibernation, and they are never the same. They are just like a shell of who they were. This oil can help you when life seems dark, when you're feeling disconnected, and when you need to believe. It's restorative, and it helps you take the next step. So it can help you to restore that faith that you have lost, to take those leaps of faith in life. So based on your quiz, do you need to balance faith or do you need to grow it? And I love this quote. You don't always have to wait for the perfect plan. Sometimes all it takes is the faith to take the next step. So what's in this oil? This is a blend of frankincense, which is a very centering, spiritual oil. It has myrrh, which is purifying, restorative, and uplifting. Balsam fir, which is rejuvenating and uplifting. Rose, which is a very high frequency oil and provides harmony. Cedar wood, which is relaxing. Palo Santo, which cleanses negative energies. Sage, which supports coping, despair, and purifies negative energies. Juniper, which clears the mind. Hyssop, which is a holy herb, and Hinoki, which is one of the five sacred trees of Kiso in Japan. It's calming and it increases spirituality. When you use these oils, these are oils that need to be smelled. They need to activate the limbic region of the brain to help you process emotions. And so you can either put these in a diffuser, but what I like to do is to just put a drop in my hand, rub it into my hand, and then I put my palms over my nose and I deeply inhale. Because when you inhale the faith oil, it can support you with inner strength, with humility and gratitude. It can help you ward off negative emotions help you uh, with deeper meditation, give you a greater connectedness, that there's something bigger out there that will help. And isn't that what faith is? It's believing that there's something bigger out there than we can see and touch and feel. And so the affirmation, when you smell Ula Faith, 
is all you say is I am grateful, humble, and fully connected. And so when I use these oils, I'm doing it right now. I put a drop in my hands, put it over my nose. And three times you can either say out loud or say it in your mind. I am grateful, humble, and fully connected. Smell the oil. I am grateful, humble, and fully connected. Smell the oil. I am grateful, humble, and fully connected. Smell the oil. I do this three times. It's called the power of three. All right, let's go to the next one. The next oil is family because the next area of life is family. So my question to you is, is your family functional or dysfunctional? Do you have good family relations with everyone in your family? Or are there certain people that you don't see, you would rather not see, especially with holidays? Family is where most of our core beliefs originate. Our core beliefs really settle in us by the time we are six years old. So when you think about what we are exposed to early in life, it's family, it's school, sometimes it's church, it's community, it's neighbors, but most core beliefs are going to originate from your family. So if you have core beliefs that you know are sabotaging you, that you know are not in your current best interest now, are you able to let that past go? Are you able to face those beliefs and really work on them? And this is an oil that can help you with that, to help you process those core beliefs and reinstill better beliefs that will actually support you. This oil can help you let the past go. If a family member did or said something harmful to you, I mean, it could have just been, you know, a, a hurtful, even an unintentional hurtful statement, all the way to, you know, chronic and ritual child abuse. Can you let it go? And then when you look at your family now, are you nurturing your family or are you distancing yourself from your family? And so the question is, do you want a family? Because family is a key area of life. So finding a way to heal that can very much help you in all areas of your life because you know, these are seven areas that need to be balanced. So if this area is really out of whack, it's going to impact your work, your finances, your health. It's going to impact everything. So based on the test, do you need to balance family or do you need to grow it? So don't base your life decisions on the advice from those who aren't where you want to be. And maybe this is your family that they've taken a path that is not the path you want to take. You can still have family and you can love them, but it doesn't mean you necessarily have to listen to them. So let's look at this oil. The affirmation is, I am unconditionally loving, patient, and respectful. This is a blend of it actually has a blend in it called inner child, and that blend helps you reconnect your authentic self. It also has lavender to help you adapt to stress, rose geranium to help with balancing and harmony, alang alang, which helps to release feelings of anger, cedar wood, which helps with relaxation, pine is energizing and removes mental stress, cardamom alleviates mental fatigue, and frankincense, which is centering and spiritual. So again, put the drop in your hand and three times you're going to say the affirmation, I am unconditionally loving, patient, and respectful as you're breathing the oil. And this will help to support unconditional love, patience, respect. It'll uplift your emotions, calm the mind, control negative feelings, and help support strong and healthy family relationships. What is very interesting about this oil, because I had not used this oil a lot. Some of these oils I use all the time. This was one that I didn't use because I had moved home. I'm near my family. You know, I have my beautiful felines with me. 
And then nine days ago, I suddenly lost my cat, Jacob. He's there on the screen. Three days after he passed, still dealing with the shock of him passing, it was completely unexpected. I did the ITOVI scan. And ITOVI scan is a biofeedback machine specifically programmed to Young Living products. And it reads your energy field, your bio energy system, and matches products to help balance what is out of balance. Three days after Jacob passed, the ITOVI recommended ULA family for me. And instantly I knew it was because I was still dealing with the shock and the loss of Jacob. And I needed to get back into that mindset that, you know, he was my family. And yes, he was physically gone, but spiritually, I can still connect with him. This oil helped me so much. So if you have lost a family member, person or pet, and if it's, if it's a person that you lost, and maybe you did not make peace with them before they passed, this is the oil that you need to use. It is incredible. It smells amazing. You could wear this in lieu of perfume. It smells so beautiful because of the inner child blend and the alang alang and the cedar wood. It just smells beautiful. But it will help you get back to that unconditionally loving, patient, and respectful state of mind even for those who have passed on. It will help you through the grieving process. That's my experience of, of just what I've experienced in the last nine days with this oil. Um, so that was a very beautiful, very beautiful gift. All right, let's go to the third area of life. And this is field, your field of work. So my question to you is, do you have a dream job, but you're in a day job? It's time to bridge that gap. Because if there's something that you want to do, you are craving to do, you have such a dream for it, but the day job is taking up your time, this will absolutely result in a disproportionate imbalance in your work. And it can end up resulting in a disproportionate work-life balance. So, you know, if... Regardless of whether you love your work or you don't, are you spending too much time for you, if, too much time working? Are you working all the time? This is something that I have done. I'm just a workaholic. I, I've always enjoyed my work. I can work all the time. I can work 14, 15 hour days and not bat an eyelash about it. That is not normal. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do what Allie does. <laughs> So this oil helps you get that proportionality between work, life, and personal life. But it also helps you come to the realization of whether you are in the right work. Because when you spend your days doing what, you're, what you love, it's not work. You, you re-identify what that four-letter word is. And so if if you have that disproportionality in your career, I, I love the quote on or the graphic on the screen, never get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life. And that's so true. So many people are busy working so that they can pay the bills, so that they can go to work and earn the money to pay the bills, and so that they can spend money so that they can go to work and earn the money to pay the bills. That's not a life. It's not. So this oil can really help you with that. So based on your quiz that you took, do you need to balance the field that you are in or do you need to grow it? Maybe you, you are not in the right job. Maybe you're trying to break into a new field. Do you need to grow that? This is the oil that will help. So the affirmation when you smell this oil, that this is the affirmation you will say. I am pursuing my purpose in life. You're going to smell it, the oil, and you're going to say it three times. I am pursuing my purpose in life. I am pursuing my purpose in life. I am pursuing my purpose in life. You're going to smell the oil the whole time. And this essential oil blend is comprised of cardamom, which alleviates mental fatigue and nervous strain, frankincense, which centers to focus the mind, 
present time, which is a Young Living blend, which helps you be in the moment. Another blend called Dream Catcher, which helps you with dreaming and visualization. Another blend called Acceptance to help accept yourself, accept others, accept where you're at right now so that you can overcome procrastination and denial. A fourth blend, there's a lot of oils in this, in this particular one. The, a fourth blend called Believe is in this, which gives you strength and faith to move past setbacks and barriers. It also has ginger, which is energizing, nutmeg, which boosts energy, and a lang lang, which is relaxing and helps you release anger and tension. So this blend encourages feelings of self-worth and strength to overcome procrastination and to help you reach your true unlimited potential. What it does is it helps you to harness the power of positive dreams, support clarity, and uncloud your vision. I love Love, 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 love this oil. I cannot tell you how many bottles I have gone through. This is one of my favorite oils. When I was in the process of leaving Virginia and coming to Michigan, it was a massive leap of faith. I obviously used the faith oil, but I used the field oil because I knew that I was giving up full-time employment and going out on my own. So clearly I needed help with field. And I also use the finance oil, which we're gonna talk about next. So again, remember you can use these oils with the Ula Grow or the Ula Balance. And I used, initially when I was in the DC Virginia area, I used field with Ula Balance so that I wasn't working so much. And then when I was getting ready to move, I used field with Ula Grow. So let's talk about this fourth area of life, finance. So how are you when it comes to your debt level? Do you have credit card debt? Do you still have student loan debt? You know, most people have a mortgage and it would be really nice to get that paid off. Some people have a car loan. You know, do you have a savings that gives you comfort you know depending on who you listen to you need anywhere from six to 12 months of saving of of full-time expenses to cover you if something happens do you have that you know do you treat your finances like oh yay i made money let's go spend it let's go engage in retail therapy do you have a hard time saving money or do you hold on to your money so tight that you are choking the abundance out of having more money flow to you? So do you need to balance your finances or do you need to grow them? So I like this graphic because it talks about the seven characteristics of debt-free people. And this comes from Dave Ramsey, if you've never followed him. Number one, they are wise. They're people who decide to ditch the debt for good because they realize that debt is not a tool. Number two, they're, they are patient. They are somebody who really wants out of debt. They can walk right past the shoe aisle and just not even blink. Number three, they are confident. They are people who are getting out of debt and they don't care what others think. So it's turning down invitations to dinner and maybe inviting your friends over instead. Number four, they're goal-driven. Small goals lead to the one giant goal of being debt-free. Number five, they are responsible. Because when you are responsible, you want to get out of debt as fast as possible so you can begin saving, putting money into a college fund, a investing, a travel fund, what have you. And even paying off the mortgage early. Number six, they are not materialistic. Becoming debt-free isn't about you know, stocking a garage full of cars and living, you know, in an eight bedroom house. Number seven, they're willing to make sacrifices. So, you know, maybe they don't go to the movies every week. They cut in half how many times they eat out. You know, these are the type of things that they go without while they are getting out of debt. So let's talk about the finance oil that can support you during this. The affirmation that you're going to use while you're smelling this oil is I am financially free and living abundantly. 
You're going to say it three times. This oil is a blend of frankincense, which focuses the mind and helps you overcome stress, despair. Akotia, which is cleansing and purifying. Melissa, which uplifts the emotions. A blend called gathering, which helps you overcome chaotic energy that can divert you from your path of higher achievement. Another blend called clarity, which restores mental alertness. Another blend called humility, which can balance the heart and mind along with orange oil, which is uplifting and calming, and balsam fir, which is uplifting. So as you can see, this is a very uplifting, focusing sort of oil. It encourages positive emotions and increases feelings of abundance. It'll promote clarity and alertness so that you can focus on that financial objective. All right, let's go to the fifth area of life, fitness. So very few people enjoy exercising. I only know a couple of people who really, really love it, but most people don't like it. They complain about it. They're moaning and groaning the whole time. They see it as a chore to get over with. But most people who want to change their body do it because they only see problems, not because they love their body and they want it to thrive and have longevity. So body image issues tend to get in the way. And, you know, most people know that they want to be fit, but then they make very poor choices and start on a downward spiral, such as eating what I call non-foods. They eat something out of a bag or out of a box. That's not food. It's not. <laughs> it's chemicals melded together and sold as food. And so when you make those poor choices, you can start this downward spiral? Or are you at the other extreme where you obsess over exercise? You are exercising three, four hours a day, and you're not doing it necessarily for a competitive sport, which maybe is your job. You're doing it because you're just obsessed. It's the other extreme when it comes to body image. So do you need to balance fitness? because you're doing too much? Or do you need to grow it because you're not doing enough? Work out because you love your body, not because you hate it. So let's talk about this oil, the Ula Fitness Oil. Your affirmation is, I am fit, healthy, disciplined, and strong. I am fit, healthy, disciplined, and strong. I am fit, healthy, disciplined, and strong. So this is a great affirmation when you are exercising. So if you're walking or running or if you're on an elliptical or a treadmill, you can keep running this through your mind. You can put this oil like underneath your nose or put it on your chest so that you're breathing it in. This is a blend of cypress blue, which supports skin health, copaiba, which can aid in the digestive process, cystus, which helps with focus, Marjoram, which soothes tense muscles after exercise. Basil, it refreshes the mind. It can even help fatigued muscles. It has Idaho Blue Spruce, which is an incredibly uplifting oil. Clary Sage, which relieves stress, uplifts moods, aids in sleeplessness. Black Pepper, which is energizing and can soothe muscle discomfort. Nutmeg, which boosts energy, and peppermint, which can support digestion. So this is a very uplifting blend that can promote discipline and inspiration to help you achieve your goals. Let's go to the sixth area of life, friends. So when I say the word friends, what comes to mind? Quality that you have in your friendships or quantity? Because you're only going to be as good as the people that you surround yourself with. Be brave enough to let those go who are wearing you down. And this is so true because it'll impact every area of your life. If you have friends who do not support you in your fitness goals, you're not going to balance and grow your fitness. If you have friends that do not support you in your field, maybe a new business you're trying to go, grow, then that business is going to suffer. 
So are they supportive or are these the sort of friends that you have to tiptoe around? You have to be very careful about what you talk about. Certain topics are off limits. You know, don't have certain friends get together because they they will cat fight. You know, how do your friends look? Do you have enough friends? You know, the friends that you do have, are they quality? And do you do you have friends that you can go to? So do you need to balance? your friends and get rid of those who are weighing you down? Or do you need to grow your friends and bring in some quality friends? So let's talk about the Ula Friends Oil. The affirmation is, I am blessed with empowering healthy relationships. And again, you're gonna say it three times while smelling the oil. And this is a blend of harm, it's a, It has a couple of blends in it. So it has the blend of harmony in it, which helps with physical and emotional balance, calming and opening you to new possibilities. It has the blend of acceptance so that you accept yourself and others and overcome denial about who your friends really are. It has inner child, which is a blend to help you reconnect with your authentic self so that you can draw in friends who are authentic with you. It has lavender for relaxation, frankincense for centering, Palo Santo, which is spiritual and helps purify negative energies. It has Zhang Mao, which is an aromatic grass of rapid enlightenment found in Taiwan, and Blue Cypress, which is calming. So this blend brings harmonic balance, encourages self-worth, confidence, awareness, gives you clarity to support healthy and positive interactions. I like to use this oil in my businesses, when I need to draw people in, I like to put it on my wrist because when you when you think about drawing people in, you want to basically open up your arms and scoop them up and draw them into you. So in your business, if you need more clients or if you're running you know, a young living business and you want to reach more people, use the Ula Friends, put it on your wrist, and draw them in. It smells awesome. It, I'm smelling it right now. It is really a beautiful blend. You could wear it as perfume every day. And it'll draw in the right people that you need in your life. All right. We are at our last category, which is fun. So the trick is to enjoy life. Don't wish away your days waiting for better ones ahead. So I always, I actually had a friend recently post on Facebook that she doesn't know what her purpose in life is. She doesn't feel like she's having any fun. And my question to her was, what did you love to do as a child? Because the things that we did as children, if we continued doing them into our adulthood, we'd be having a lot of fun. And those things could actually be your work that you do. So do you have hobbies that you enjoy? Do You know, do you take time for you to just go and do whatever? You know, last last Saturday, even though it's still a little chilly here in Michigan, the sun finally came out. It was mid 50s. And I took a 90 minute drive out to Lake Michigan. I needed time for me. And even though it was, you know, three hours round trip and I only stayed about a half an hour because it was so cold, it was worth it. I needed that time, even the time in the car. You know, do you need laugh time? Go see a funny movie. You know, are you getting through your list, your your bucket list or your life list, whatever you want to call it, things that you want to see and do before your final days? If you don't even have that list, I really encourage you to make one. I love looking at the things that I've checked off and I love looking at what is coming. And it really helps me plan my year. So This is a great oil to help you have fun. Another thing that I um, recently realized is when you do not have fun in your life, everything else will suffer. Your family will suffer because you're no fun. If you're all work and no play, that's no fun. Your family will feel it. Your health will feel it. Your fitness will feel it. Um, Your work will feel it. If you are all work and no fun, 
your work will actually suffer. I put this to the test two months ago when a friend challenged me to a to an eight day fun challenge because I was working so hard on a goal and I was so close, but yet it was so far. And for eight days, I did fun stuff. I went roller skating, hadn't done that in 35 years. I went ballroom dancing. Um, you know, I did all of these really fun things. And you know what? In those eight days, I met my goal because I took the pressure off of the work and allowed fun to come in and it changed my energy. This oil would change your energy. So think about, you know, and look at your quiz that you took. Do you need to balance the fun? Like, are you, are you spending too much time <laughs> having fun and you're denying responsibilities or do you need to grow it? So let's look at the oil. The affirmation you're gonna say is, I am pursuing the joys of life. Say it three times and smell the oil. It is a blend of tangerine, which is uplifting and gives you a sense of security. It has nutmeg, which boosts energy. Myrtle, which is soothing. Jasmine, which is soothing, uplifting, gives you self-confidence. Lemon, which is revitalizing and uplifting. Cedarwood, which is relaxing, helps calm that to-do list in your mind. Grapefruit, which is energizing. And spearmint, which helps open and release emotional blocks, especially in the lungs. This oil blend promotes an uplifting, a revitalizing, and an euphoric way of feeling emotions. I mean, you just feel joyful. It boosts self-confidence. It promotes a positive outlook and really helps you enjoy the pleasures in life. Now let's talk real quick about ULA blockers. These are things that will block you every single time. So you're working on these seven areas of life and maybe one is really giving you a hard time. I want you to look at these seven blockers because sometimes you have to let things go so that there's room for better things to come into your life. So which of these seven things are blocking you right now in an area? You know, look at that quiz that you took. Fear. Fear will stop any goal or desire dead in its tracks. When you want something, but you're not doing what needs to be done, it's likely fear getting in the way. We fear things that haven't happened. We fear a bad outcome. Chances are 99.9% .9 of the time, it's not going to come to fruition. Fear stands for false expectations appearing real. They are false. You just power through. Number two, guilt. Guilt can stop you if you feel that you don't deserve money or a career or a family or fun or good fitness. This is where the balance oil is really going to help you. Number three, anger. Anger can actually push people away that would help you in your business, that would be friends, that would help you with fun. Number four, self-sabotage. This is where we know we have to do something to grow and balance, but we do the opposite. And it's subconscious. You're not consciously doing it. Nobody consciously sabotages themselves. So, you know, maybe you know you need to be more outgoing with friends or your business, but you hide away at home. You don't mean to do it, but that's what you do. That's self-sabotage. Number five, laziness. This is just wasting away in front of social media or TV and, and not doing the things in these seven areas of life that will really balance you and help you feel whole. Number six is envy. Envy is a negative energy. So when you're focused on someone else who has what you want, you're going to not achieve what you want because you're so focused on them. Take your focus off of them. Focus on you and your seven areas of life. Everyone around you will benefit for that. And then number seven is lack of focus. Because when you have too much going on and you can't, you can't even figure out what to do first, you do nothing. So what it is, is getting yourself balanced so that you can get yourself focused. Now let's talk about ULA accelerators. We got seven ULA accelerators. Gratitude one of the top accelerators. When you go through your day with gratitude, you wake up and you think or say three to five things that you're grateful for, and you end the day doing the same thing. You can say them, you can write them. When you look at things with gratitude, 
you will find more things to be grateful for. One of my favorite sayings is change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. When you look at things with gratitude, you will have more gratitude coming to you. That's an easy way to accelerate. Love. If you are so worried about what people think about you, how people are acting, what people are saying, um, you know, talking badly about people, that's not love. That actually pushes everything away from you. It's going to push business, family, friends, fitness. It's going to push everything away. When you can really focus on the gratitude and the love, things are going to open for you. Number three, discipline. It takes discipline to balance your life. If you just sit back and expect life to come knocking on your door, you're going to be sitting there a long time. It's why a lot of people get to a certain age or get to the end of their life and they're full of regret because they didn't have the discipline to do what they wanted to do. Everybody has different wants and different desires and different goals. Your goals are different than my goals. If you do not, if you do not have the discipline to go for them, you're not going to achieve them because no one can achieve them for you. So discipline is critical. Number four, integrity is critical. You know, no matter what you do in life, it always must come from integrity, from honesty. Because at the end of the day, that's who we are. People need to trust you in your personal life and in your business life. The fifth accelerator is passion. If you do not have passion for your goals or what you want to do, you need to reassess because you should never do anything if you don't have the passion behind it. This is why so many people want to have their own businesses, but they don't have the discipline to do it. They have the passion, but they don't have the discipline. So if you compare those two together, you're, you're going to soar. The sixth accelerator is humility. And this is being able to take advice, being able to accept that you did something wrong, being able to look at your business, your friends, your family, and realizing this isn't working. I need to do this another way. It's having that humility to say, I can change this and I can make it better. And number seven, the accelerator of wisdom, having that wisdom to make change, to say enough's enough. I need to balance and grow all these areas of my life because only you only fail when you stop trying and all of these will help accelerate you. So my question is, are you ready to live the ULA life? These oils and these affirmations can absolutely help you. I know it because I've done it and I really, really love them. And when you start getting these areas all balanced and growing and firing on all cylinders, you're spinning those plates, those seven plates, and none of them are dropping. And that feels great. You feel in control of your life rather than life being in control of you. And the world we live in now, it seems like everything is out of control. This you can control. So, here are the oils that I have talked about, the Infused 7 kit. You can get these from Young Living. If you are a wholesale member, this, the Infused 7 kit is $199.75. The retail value is $262.83. This is the benefit of becoming a Young Living member, is getting the wholesale price. These are seven powerful oils. And you may think, wow, Allie, that's $200. This is seven oils that can get your life balanced and growing. They are worth every penny. I go through these oils a lot. Then the Ula Balance Oil, the wholesale is $29.75. The retail is $39.14. And the Grow Wholesale is $39.75. And the retail is $52.30. These, this will be money well spent. So I also want to encourage you to get the ULA books. So the, uh, there is an ULA book. You can find it on the ulalife.com website or on amazon.com. ULA, Find Balance in an Unbalanced World, um, written by the ULA guys, Dr. Dave and Dr. Troy. And 
goes into very great detail into these seven areas of life. But coming out on May 2nd of 2017, we're getting ULA for Women. And I might be reviewing this book and blogging about it. I'm waiting to see if they're going to send me um, a copy. Um, but this uh, ULA for Women book, it's all for women because how we balance and grow is different than how men balance and grow. So please check those out. And if you have not joined Young Living, you can certainly join uh, by getting a starter kit and you can get those wholesale prices. But I did want to put up um, what I think is very interesting because it has never, ever happened before in Young Living. The ULA Grow Oil is one of the free promotions this month. Every month, Young Living does promotions where if you order a certain amount, they will send you free products and you can earn the ULA Grow Oil and get it for free with a minimum 190 PV, which means product value order, if you do that order on Essential Rewards, which is the monthly auto ship. So be sure to check that out. And if you want to get started with Young Living, message me. Um, if you're already in my team, check out these oils. Um, you know, and feel free to sign up for my weekly or for my uh, newsletter, go on to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube pages, you can find more webinars there. And uh, thank you for joining in.